Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today I wanted to talk about these security cameras. I did some research between Arlo and Rio Link, and I decided to go with the Rio Link. My parents had the Arlo, my brother has the Arlo, but you have to have a hub with Arlo. And the initial purchase price for about four cameras and a hub was probably pretty similar to buying four cameras from the Rio Link. But if you wanted to add on a camera, this route was much cheaper than the Arlo. The Arlo add-on cameras were like 170 bucks, and these, I think, brand new are 80 or $90. My parents actually bought a Rio Link pan tilt zoom for the property so that they could have that there at the barn in case anything showed up. It works on Wi-Fi, it's wireless, it, is, it has a rechargeable battery, and you can add a solar panel to it. These are along similar lines. These are Wi-Fi. They're wireless with a rechargeable battery. You do have an option of adding a solar panel to attach to it. I didn't do the solar panel this time. I bought an extra battery though for $35 because I figured it'd be easier to just to go in and swap one battery. I'm hopeful that they don't all die at the same time. I've got four of them here. And I figured that'd be easier buying one $35 battery than four $25 solar panels. Not to mention the solar panel doesn't look all that great. I mean, it's, it's slim, it's small, but you know, it's not something I want sitting out on my house in four different spots. So these are 1080p cameras, they're waterproof, and they have a smart PIR sensor. The night vision is supposedly very good on them. I've seen my parents a few times and it works pretty well. It picks up a lot of movement. You can change the sensitivity so it's not picking up trees or small things like that and it's just picking up bigger movements. So today I'm going to do an unboxing and setup of the Rio Link Argus Pro. They have another model that's the Rio Link Argus Pro 2, I believe is the name of it. And I talked to their customer service and was trying to understand the differences between the two because it doesn't really explain it very well on their website. And when I got down to it, the only main difference was the bracket. So this Real Link Argus Pro comes with an outdoor bracket. The two comes with an outdoor and an indoor bracket. Since I had planned on putting these all outside around my house, I didn't really need the indoor bracket, so I figured I'd save the extra 10, 15 bucks per camera and get these. While I was going through their website though, I saw they had a refurbished link. So I clicked that and they happened to have a set of two of the Argus Pros for 87 bucks. So that's about two for the price of one pretty much. And they run deals all the time on their new cameras, so you can get 10, 20% off. So keep an eye out for that. So I ended up buying four cameras and a battery for right around $200 when brand new it would have cost me close to $400. And for Arlo it would have been close to $400 as well. The Rio Link has a pretty straightforward app. It's pretty easy to set up. My parents did struggle setting up the pan tilt zoom camera, but I went through it and went through the process pretty quickly. I think they were just clicking one of the wrong buttons in the setup process and they were struggling on that. So that's why I wanted to go through the setup process here with you all today as well. So we'll go ahead and open one of these boxes and unbox it and start the setup process. So it should have a Rio Link sticker there and it should not be broken. If it's a refurbished camera, it'll say refurbished on it. And so I went ahead and already opened the seal. So it comes with a setup guide a mounting template, your setup guide. It looks like some stickers. And I'm not sure if this is for the refurbished part, but a declaration of conformity. So really not a lot in the paperwork there. So you've got a strap. This is your mount, some screws, 
a cord for charging it. And it looks like this is a skin you can put around it. It's got like a little sun hood on it too to help protect it from the sun. Next we have the battery. So it's pretty heavy, good size battery. Looks like you have a charging port here. That's about it. So then you have the camera and your battery goes on the back there. It's got a little sticker on it. Go ahead and pull that off. So on the side here, it has a micro SD port to be able to save all your recordings. And I think that's everything in the box. Yep. So this is pretty much everything that comes in the box. I'm gonna go ahead and start charging the battery to get to full capacity before we turn it on. During this process, you might as well go ahead and download the Rio Link app and get it set up with an account and everything so that when your battery is charged and you're ready to go, you can plug it in and go. All right, so once you have the Rio Link app downloaded, your battery is charged, we'll go ahead and go into the app. You can see I already have a camera here, the barn camera, and I'm gonna go ahead and click add. So there's a QR code on the back here that you can add. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. It says Wi-Fi not configured or Wi-Fi already configured. So you'll go to Wi-Fi not configured. And I've got to plug the battery in, I believe now. Camera has been started up. Please run Real Link app, add the camera and set it up. Okay, so it says, please, please run Real Link app, add the camera and set it up. All right, so I've heard that. Click next. Allow Real Link to use your location. We'll say allow while using app. Please run Real Link app, add the camera and set it up. Add your Wi Fi. So then it says to add, to connect your camera to Wi-Fi network, face it to your phone and let the camera scan the QR code on the screen. Scan succeeded. Camera is connecting to your router. Right, Please so, wait. So I've heard. Connection to the router succeeded. Welcome to RioLink. All right, so click next. Connection to the router succeeded. Welcome to RioLink. Heard that, click next. So you can create a login password for each device. Um, I don't know if I want to do that. I guess it's making me do that, it seems like. So I'll name the device. Then it gives you some just tips and pointers. Okay. So now you can see I have the camera set up and I'll just show you my phone, you know, move around the house. And so I can see both my barn camera and this camera together. You have some options here, pause, you can hear the sound. So you can take a picture, you can do a recording. This changes fluent is low quality, 1080p is a high quality stream. So I'll change it to 1080. You can do full screen. Looks out of that. You can talk to it here. And all you do is tap to talk to it and then it has a playback mode. I don't have an SD card in there, so I'll add an SD card so I can do playback mode. It has an alarm, so you can hear it triggers it. It's not super loud, but you know it's it's there. Um, 
If I wanted to see all of my cameras, I could set it up like that. And then in the settings, you can see it says Wells One, Argus Pro, battery, the network it's on, the display. You can check the quality, the anti-flicker. I'm just gonna put on auto, day and night. I'm gonna put on auto. So in the day and night's pretty cool. You can have a color night mode or a black and white night mode, and if it has enough light, it can do it in color, which is pretty cool. But I'll put it on auto so that it'll go back and forth. You can pick where you want the camera name to be shown. Right now it's the bottom right. The date, you can pick where you want that located. So the motion sensor is set to on. You can change the sensitivity level with a sliding thing here. Let's see, is it only mid? So it looks like it's mid, high, and low. So there's three settings here. You can set a schedule for it if you want to set a schedule. So camera recording I have set to on. You can set the post motion duration I'm going to set it to 15 seconds. You can set the siren to come on when it, when it detects emotion. I don't really want to do that. Um, we'll turn push notifications over so that it'll send me notifications when I get motion detected. Like it already sent me one. Um, so maybe I'll shut that off for now while I do the video. And I can share the camera with somebody else. So if you're, you want your wife to have the camera on her account or she can log in on yours, but you can share the camera and it has a QR code to share it. And then for advanced, you can change password, date, time, record audio, infrared lights, status LED. So as you can see, it's got quite a few features. The one that it doesn't have that I kind of wish it had was some sort of geofencing that recognized when you were home and not home. But at the same point, you may not want that. You may want the camera still to be on while you're at home and picking up motion at home as well. I know the Arlo does have some sort of geofencing and my parents have used it and they ended up shutting it off because they still wanted it on when they were at home. It just was... You know, when we got there or if they got there and run packing their truck, it, you know, it went off all the time. So that's the only kind of bad part about the alerts. So another thing that's pretty cool with these cameras is they actually have a 4G camera. So if you don't have Wi-Fi and you still want these cameras, they have a 4G option. I believe they have AT&T and I forgot the other network, but there's another network in there. They do not have a Verizon option. I was actually, the reason I had first looked into these cameras is I had done some research on using it as a trail camera. And I found out that people really liked it as a trail camera. It worked really well. The biggest issue for me was they only had it for AT&T and not Verizon. And out at our property, we have to have it on Verizon. AT&T just not, does not get great service out there. So I ended up not going that route, and that's why I have the Tacticams and the Spy Points. But that is an option if you wanted to go that route. And I think I, when I was doing my research, I want to say it was about 10 bucks a month for unlimited pictures sent to your phone and whatnot. So if you're interested in this as a trail cam, I'd definitely check out the 4G options. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I may be able to answer them. Otherwise, go ahead and check out the Rio Link website. They're not paying me. I did not get these cameras for free. I already talked about how much I paid. I just figured this is a, a cool security camera that you know, I might as well do a little unboxing and review on. And if y'all are interested, you can check them out. Thanks for watching.